track. Kirk Ferentz has won at least 10 games three years running, so he needs this one today. Well, Mike, they've struck up the band on a picture postcard afternoon for college football in Iowa City, the 94th homecoming game, the Iowa Hawkeyes, the fighting line eye of Illinois. Iowa coming in off a big loss at Ohio State. They've lost two of their last three games at two and two. How do they turn around their season? Well, what they need is a big spark, and Drew Tate is that guy that has to give them that spark, and he really hasn't done it consistently. You can see right there the big plays, four touchdowns, only two interceptions. The thing is, there's nothing exceptional about those stats. They need exceptional exceptional from him down the stretch this season. Well, Ron Zook looking for his first Big Ten win as head coach of the Illini, and this is a tough place to get it. Iowa's won 20 in a row here at home. Kickoff coming up, but first we get it back to the studio at Mike Gleason. Thing turned around? A lot of people wonder what kind of psychological damage that loss to Ohio State did, but Kirk Friend said his goal is to get better today, get better tomorrow, and keep improving through the end of the game on Saturday. If that doesn't sound like a team in panic mode, here's why. Last year, they were in the same position, 2-2 two and two to start the year, then reeled off eight consecutive wins and took the Big Ten title. So there is no panic in Iowa City, Wayne, at least not yet. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Iowa will receive to start the ball game. And here is the kickoff, and we're underway. Albert Young takes it in the end zone, and it'll be first in ten. Hawkeyes. That's motion from Chandler, the tight end. Little play action. Keep play. First down in 10 at the 31-yard line of Iowa. Just underway in Iowa City. Albert Young, the lone setback. Three receivers set. Young coming it back. Running room. Out to the 39 feet first drive. Chandler again in motion. Young hits the hole hard and has the first down for Iowa from the 43 in Iowa territory. Big hole again. Young to the outside. Down the sideline to the 30. To the 25 and take it out of bounds. Penalty marker down. They had to come in and establish the run. And you can tell right now that they feel very good about their matchup up front with a slot at the top of your screen. First and 10 at the 16 of Illinois. Young looked right, looked left, going first quarter. Iowa on the drive with a second down. Tate in the shotgun got a high snap from Ferentz. Drew Tate lots of time. Now he throws it away. Finally got some left. And that's what this offense desperately needs to get him going. Third down for the Iowa Hawkeyes. 31% on third downs. Tate. Still looking to make a play. Young inside the five has a first run. Marcus Schnorr, the running back, behind Drew Tate. Schnorr gets a nice block off the flank. Thornhill fills the hole well. The give Schnorr to the outside. Touchdown. Derek Walker got glued to the blocker, and that was it. Marshall Yanda tied him up, and Schnorr goes in untouched. Yeah, Yanda, way number 73, that right tackle, is one of those guys playing a new position. He's swapped this, this game with Mike Jones. He's gone from left guard to right tackle, and he created a very soft edge for Schnorr on that play. So Marcus Schnorr with his second touchdown of the season. Schlicker gets the extra point. Important. Uh, Drive to begin the game for their confidence. Halsey driving off the right side. Oh, Illinois' offense needs to answer that tremendous drive by Iowa. They're going quickly. Rasick into the flat. E.B. Halsey made the first man miss. Ed Miles, and then is stacked up with a first down. A lot of activity at the line of scrimmage by this Illinois offense. Thomas to the outside. Tripped up, thrown, and Schnorr scored the touchdown, and Ron hasn't been happy since. 
His team on the move, first and 10 to the 46. I don't think he was happy that they had to call a timeout there. Cutback run at Pierre Thomas, and he swarmed under. Hawkeyes floating down, Wilcox and Madison, and then, of course, Steve will get the linebackers for you in a moment. Grace. It. Knocked down incomplete check. Get it down inside the 20 if he can. Race for some height here. He catches made by Ed Hinkle at the 20. Breaks a tackle across the 30 and out to the 30 day. First and 10, Iowa leading 7 nothing. Second offensive possession for the Hawkeyes. Young going nowhere. Thorne. Second down and about 12 for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Take to the air. Young with running room. First down, 10. Little play action to Young. Here's Tate. Takes it himself. Steps out of bounds of the footing of safeties and taking away the running lanes for Drew Tate. Trying not to let him out of the pocket. Second down and short. Iowa on the move once again. <laughs> down young even if they're holding it first out of the 35 play action Tate rolling out he's had plenty of room to work with on the perimeter trying to touch pass and he does oh what a beautiful catch made but Sean Green hammering off the left side of these first two drives by Iowa very little heat on Ruth Tate they reverse here comes Ed Hinkle he's sneaky fast Tate walking in front Hinkle in the end zone 14 touchdown The senior from Erie, Pennsylvania, takes it in from 20 yards out. And it couldn't start any worse for Ron Zook in his fragile fighting line eye of Illinois. Slicker's extra point is good. Getting the play from the sideline. Now, Brasic at quarterback, ready to go. Davis, the long setback. The pitch goes to Mendenhall, Richard. That freshman is really coming along. Meanwhile, the Illini go falter up there. You know, take a look at Michigan and Iowa. Exactly right. Each with two losses so far. It is third and short. Good second effort by Pierre Thomas. Looks like a passing formation. But now they run option out of it. Brasic on the keeper. Oh, good move there. Across midfield. Flipped it over to Mendenhall and almost lost it. Mr. Junior able to get it back for Illinois. First and 10. Good protection for Grayson. Goes underneath to Pierre Thomas to the third. Second down. Grayson in the shotgun. They moved the pocket just a bit. Throws a strike to Dewan Warren. Got a first down. Their offense as they'd like. And see once again, everything taking place at the line of scrimmage. They hurry up to wait a lot of times. Ryan Zook. With the I believe mantra. And Pierre Thomas is one of those who believes, but he only gets two yards at home. Brasic fake the inside handoff going downfield, and it is intercepted. Intercepted by Javon Johnson. One of the solid corners that you just talked about, Wayne. Johnson is that type of guy, a cover guy that's always in the right place. A little undersized, but he plays very big. You talk about, I believe, when you make mistakes on the road, that's exactly where the belief in your program has to come in. You have to work through that. We can see the ISO out here, number 26, Johnson, does a good job of not going for the, the post fake and then jumping underneath the flattened out corner route. And it was actually a better play by the corner than it was a bad play by the quarterback right there. Coach Zook, oh, goodness. How many more hits can they take? 
Iowa just trying to get some room here. Drew Tate, Coach Zook mentioned, is that the upper classmen have bought into the program. And that's really helped. Albert Young, not much there. Michigan is not going to shut down that Spartan offense all day long. I rest, rest assured of that. They're going to have to put some more points on the board. Third down and six. Big play here early in the ball game for the Illinois defense. Tate to the end zone under pressure. Threw it wide of the mark maker in punt formation. Beautiful punt. E.B. Halsey from the 43 of Illinois. Halsey just across the midfield mark. Doing a nice job in Indiana. He's an Indiana native. He knows how everybody's looking over at the coaching staff. They're the ones that call the play from the line of scrimmage. Pierre Thomas to the outside. To the 40, to the 35. Ushered out of bounds at the 29. First and 10 off a 20-yard gain. Illinois once again in Iowa territory trying to get back into this contest. Thomas, nice hole initially. Kinnick, we've heard that name before. He was so good, they named the stadium after him. Second down. Grayson, nowhere to go on the option this time. After down. And nine. And Iowa looks like they're going to bring pressure off the slot down here. They are. Over the middle, oh, and he had an open receiver. Right field goal attempt. His career long is 45, and the kick is blocked. Picked up on the play by Illinois' Frank Lenti, but down he goes. Hit it at the line, he just got his hands up. First and 10 for the Hawkeyes, Tate. Going over the top for Solomon. Good and quite run under that one. A little bit too much air. Penalty marker down to the offensive backfield. I wonder if they may have gotten the hold that Coach Zook was complaining about earlier. Yep. First down and long. Time winding down first quarter. Tate comes over the middle. Nice catch. Made it. Try to get things going, but they're down by 14. Second down for Drew Tate and company at the Iowa 30-yard line. Young has been busy, not happy to be healthy for a change. He's come through a lot in his young career. A couple of uh, major knee injuries. Third down for Drew Tate, got an open receiver, and who is it? Guess who? Albert Young, first down across the 40. First down Iowa, the Hawkeye 43. Tate pulls it back down and gets what he can to the 40. Quarterback of that ability, my goodness. You talk about stretching a defense. Yep. They go the other way. Penalty marker down to the offensive backfield. Chandler trying to keep his feet and does. Got a first down, but to get a flag down to the play. Allen oh, I and I down to the field as well. 73 on the offense. 10-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Yeah, you Iowa continues second down. Second down and long. And a swing pass to the flank. Not a whole lot coming up for Iowa. Third and 13. Tate looking downfield, now being flushed. Got a receiver out there in the pass center. But they need it consistently. The defense to make her in punt formation. Good looking punt here. E.B. Halsey driven back to his 14. Penny Marker's down early. Halsey. Number 13 on the return team. The foul took place during the kick, and the penalty is enforced 10 yards from the end of the kick. First down. Illinois pinned back inside its 10-yard line to start this drive. Brace it, making sure the linemen know the play. Pierre Thomas picking his way. Got out to the 10-yard line. See what the defense is? Yeah, what they're trying to do is create tempo. They don't really hurry things up, but they try to get in the right play at the line of scrimmage and dictate personnel and get in the right play. I don't know that it's that much of an advantage. Blitz coming, screen pass. DeJuan Warren, first down. Nicely designed play. That screws it up. Well, you're a quarterback, is that true? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. They've spread the field four receiver set out of the shotgun. They get motion. Grayson keeps it. 
straight ahead move for about three yards. Points, but there were negative plays to keep him out of the end zone one way or the other. Second down. Little comeback pass, juggle and clock. That's Hudson, the freshman wide receiver. Play clock when they snap the football. Swing pass into the flat. E.D. Halsey with running room, got a first. And Illinois calls the play. Quick count there. Quick toss to Juan Warren. Made one man miss, but not the other. And see when that came down, gain of eight of the previous play. Pierre Thomas, close to the first. I don't know which one of them is actually the live signal. Hawkeyes dig in to defend a third and one at Prairie Illinois. Pierre Thomas, good second effort. Somebody lost their head. Four receivers set on first down for Illinois. The Illini trying to put something together here, trailing 14 up in second quarter. Pierre Thomas, rugged yeah, run up the fence to break an assignment. Grayson checking with the lineman. E.B. Halsey, the lone setback. Oh, they're going to Halsey, and he has met in the backfield. My goodness. It is third down and six for Illinois. Brace it to the freshman out of bounds. Kyle Hudson with his second. Offensively here today, three true freshmen. First and ten on a steady drive by Brace it. Halsey in space. Could not get away. Quickly. Good count. Pierre Thomas gets the block from Jason Davis. Breaks the tackle of the 30 to the 25 20 and take it out of He's inside the red zone. Racing, rolling out. Coming back the other way. Melvin Bryant, the big tight end, is inside. Racing, 7 of 7 passing, second down and short. Running option. Good move, E.B. Halsey down to the five, and it's first and goal. Goal at the five. Thomas had to make his way on his own. Goal to go from the three. Grayson. Bryant. Lots of time. In the end zone, broke it up incomplete in and out of the hands of the attack. 20-yard field goal attempt. Jason Rita, his pick is no good. He pulled it hard to the left. And that actually didn't look much high. From the 20-yard line. Young, big first quarter. Still out of speed across the 20. Second down for the Hawkeyes. Leading 14-0. Young, a good collision in the middle of ones. Third and short for the Hawkeyes here. It's been a while since their offense has been on the field. They may have cooled off, but Young has not. I see. <laughs> Through the middle rounds, right? Tate play action, nice throw over the middle. Tom Bush, the tight end, and they really go in this first half, each side with one timeout remaining. Tate off play action. Incomplete. Allen Bart line of their own territory. Albert Young. To the 45. Fumbles the football. And Young got it back. I mean, he retreated. Tate. Oh. Intercepted by Illinois. Harrison coming back the other way. He's got some blocking. Harrison inside the 45. And you actually see. Tate hesitate right here. Watch him the first time. He's looking at Hinkle right there. Hesitate, and then Hinkle was supposed to get across the face of the, the defender, and he got held up by the linebacker and did not do it. I think you're right. Held up by the linebacker. You're right. Now Illinois, 45-yard line of Iowa. Brasic looking downfield, goes short underneath. E.B. Halsey trying to escape, and he gets down to the 30. So they only have one left. Time winding down under a minute 30 to go the first half. Brasic to the sidelines, wide of the mark, intended. <laughs> Underneath, E.B. Halsey. Trying to break loose and can't quite do it. Gets down to the... Brasic. 
Hudson, first down in. They jump back into this game. Can they complete the turnover with a touchdown? Brace it flush. Takes it himself. Stumbling down to the 11 yard line. Brace it looking. Screams it out. Pierre Thomas brought down inside the. He missed from 21 earlier. Clean snap and hole kick block. And the torment continues for Jason Rita and the fighting line. Ivan. You with us? And here's the kickoff by Kyle Schlicker. It is mucked by E.B. Halsey. Picks up at the four. Gets no further than the five. Goodness. Down 14 nothing. Came in last in the Big Ten in time of possession. First and 10, Illinois, deep in its own territory. Thomas trying to get to the outside. Thomas gets him out of the hole. Greenway drives within the drive where they didn't even get into the red zone. Time of possession is a wonderful number for me in the broadcast. Yes. But if it's a miss the missed field goals, but within the drive to sustain drives. Halsey alongside Brasic in the backfield. It's a four wide receiver set. Pass tipped. Intercepted a dive. Now it's back to third down and nine for Illinois. Illinois six of nine and third down conversions. Trying to disturb the communication of quarterback Tim Brasic to his lineman. Brasic. Far short of the first down. Rushes on and he got it away cleanly. Out of a line drive kick. This one hits on the 41. Hinkle let it go. And it takes an line eye roll down to the 35. Here today, they're up 14-0, third quarter, first and 10. Young had a big first quarter. Off to a good start in the third. Into a line reception, first and 10 for the Hawkeyes. Tate, good throw there, into line. Now some penalty markers down, maybe for a false start. Part of the snap. Ball start. Number 30 on the offense. So second down and longer. Second at about 12. Cut back run right there. Nicely done. Alongside of the quarterback, Drew Tate, who looks to the air. Throws a strike to Ed Hinkle. First down to the Illini 26. First and 10, Iowa on the drive. Marcus Schnorr, big hole up the middle today, but they are now. This is their second trip inside the red zone. Tate escapes in the end zone. Touchdown! Ed Hinkle. <laughs> what concerned... Defensive coordinator Mike Mallory of Illinois was when Tate is able to break contain, get outside, and just make a play. When the play is broken down, the primary play is broken down, that's when Tate is at his best. And he found Hinkle, who just went to the open space. The extra point is good by Kyle Schlicker. Keeps it himself for a game. Racing again with a shovel pass. Abdul. Illinois 60 percent third downs today. This is the freshman McPherson. And he gets out across the 40. Pierre Thomas. Thomas is just a play. In the gain of eight, second and two. Pierre Thomas breaks another tackle, got a first. E.B. Halsey back in alongside the quarterback in the shotgun. Here's Bracey. Check down Halsey. 
Lost right there. Yeah. Halsey. Swings out of the backfield and deck for a long. Third down coming up. Looks like it's held up pretty well so far. Rasick, lots of time. Oh, and the freshman disengaged. He's got Illinois knocking on the door again. And that just took too long. <laughs> I got to tell you. Defensive line coach at Notre Dame until a year ago. He's now the defensive line coach at the University of Florida. Second down and goal to go. Rasick, lots of time. Throws the needle to the five-yard line. And but they need points, and they need a touchdown. Third down and goal to go to five for Brayson. And gets Bryant, the tight end, who's denied. The Let's see if they can make it happen. Brayson, lots of time, threads the needle. Touchdown, E.B. Halsey. In front of the linebacker, Edmund Miles, a one-yard touchdown pass. And Edmund Miles had tremendous coverage. That was a very good throw and a great catch by Halsley, who was the, actually the leading receiver coming into this, this game this afternoon. Jason Rita for the point after. Nothing a given for him today. And this one back through the uprights. So there you go, big him sooner rather than later. First and ten for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Marcus Schnorr is holding run three for 23 yards per catch. So he's been a playmaker for Illinois in the early season. Second and short. Schnorr to the outside first down. Hinkles at the bottom of your screen. He has scored twice here today. That's Solomon at the top. Schnorr getting a workout at running back. First man missed Lundquist and then is stacked up and driven back. Tate buying time. Tate's going to keep it himself. Got a first down and forced out of that. First and ten at the 45 of the Hawkeyes. Tate swings it out. Schnorr. Weaving or first right here, Iowa on top 21 to 7. Try to take a little momentum away from Illinois. The Illini scored in their last possession. Second down. Schnorr trying to cut it back and right there to meet him. Third down for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Illinois needs to make a play here. They're showing blitz with Ramon Willis coming up the middle of linebacker. Tate a quick toss to the flank. Oh, nice leaping grab out of bounds. First down at the 40 yard line. Clinton Solomon on the reception. He was buried out of bounds by Charles Bailey, and I saw a flag late on that play, and it's going to be for a late hit, I think, out of bounds. Yeah, no question about it. Very good throw and catch, and add 15 to it here on the end. After the play, late hit, personal foul. Number 24 on the defense. That's a bounds. That wasn't the case. It was when he shoved him to the ground after he was out of bounds. That was the penalty. Pinkle. A little bit of a, almost like a bubbles. Coming up in the final minute, third quarter. Motion for Moiaki to tight end. Tate into the end zone. Oh, and that's the big 6-7 tight end. Making the reception for the touchdown, Scott Chandler. And he needed all 6-7 to haul down that aerial, didn't he? Yeah, 6-5 wouldn't have cut it on that play. Very good throw, very good read by the quarterback, but a tremendous catch on the end and needing all 6-7. Scott's older brother played quarterback here a few years ago for Iowa. Scott's a wide receiver. They moved him up. I guess he grew into a tight end. <laughs> Funny how that works, but he still has some wide receiver moves and great hands. The extra point. It'll get it done for you. E.B. Halsey shading his eyes. And Halsey is roped down. Mendenhall alongside Brayson. 
The pick to Mendenhall. Grasick waiting for a block. Day. Grasick looking deep. They get a whistle to play dead. It was a sack. He is long. Three receivers set. Grasick. Lots of time and it's incomplete. Hodge has so. And Chad Greenway right over the center trying to get an early start. And by the senior, he understands that's not a smart move. Just gave Weatherford a little more room. Offside. Number 18 on the defense. Chasing all the way back over the shoulder like Willie Mays at the 20 makes the catch. He's to the 30 and Hinkle a fine return off an awesome punt by West. Damian Sims is the setback. And he gets the call once again, the sophomore. Damian, Damian Sims, the first ran he ran it from scrimmage last year a little bit, but they had all kinds of injuries. They were on their fifth and sixth tailbacks last year. Sims. Pretty good looking run here. Even better to the 50, to the 40. It's a foot race to the 30, to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! 66 yards! Penalty marker down. Actually on the kick. Unnecessary rough. Number 93 on the defense. That penalty is 15 yards and will be assessed on the ensuing. As good as he's a nice young man. We had a chance to talk to him yesterday. Brasic looking downfield. Trying to make a play and does over the middle. Kendrick Jones comes up. Move the football today. Put some yardage up there. Yeah, but it's that kind of thing right there that is kill drives. It's when you have the, the penalties, and that's number 60, Ryan McDonald, just not knowing the snap count. Mm. And those are the negative plays that mount within it. First down at 15. Screen pass. Richard Bended Hall wrote that stakes. Second down and 10. Good protection for Bracing. Check down receiver, and that is Pierre Thomas. Well, we've seen three missed field goals that should have been automatic. That looked familiar. <laughs> First down. In Iowa. And it's changed a little bit as the season has ensued. Grasick able to escape, but not far enough. Oh, what a great open field. Swings it out into the flat, E.B. Halsey, and he is literally eaten up by the linebacker. You don't hear that often. Third down for Illinois. Grasick trying to make something happen. And he throws it away. Kendrick Jones in the vicinity. And Weatherford hit a 70-yarder his last punt. This one he hangs high, looking for coverage, and it catches the end zone. Well, you know the colors of the eye will complete uh, the upper portion of the new press box and luxury suites. First down for the Iowa Hawkeyes, Damian Sims. Bob when a visiting law professor claimed that the color was critical and demeaning to women and homosexuals. Sims short of the first down there. Third down now for the Hawkeyes to try to keep this drive alive. Good take. To get this himself if he wants it, and he does. He steps out of bounds. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Good play right here. Stiff arm time on our hands, it sounds like to me. Well, they've sold a lot of t-shirts over it. <laughs> so I guess that's good. I guess. Chance to win on the road. But you never worried about the color of the lock, visiting locker room, did you? No. It was but about but you're having a place right? to hang your helmet and your cleats and, and call it good. But yeah, you're right. I'm colorblind, so it didn't mean anything to me when we went in the locker room. Illinois football on the fumble recovery. So a turnover for the Iowa Hawkeyes near the 45-yard line of Illinois. David Lindquist gathered it in. Well, Iowa has done a great job with ball security, except up to this point right here. And it's one of the things that offensive coordinator Ken O'Keefe 
puts a premium on you. You have to secure the football if you're going to carry the football. And trust me, if you put the ball on the ground very often, you don't get many touches. Marcus Simmons on the fumble. Brasic remains in at quarterback. Four-man rush. Over the middle, the freshman Hudson makes it. Brasic under pressure, hit and sack. Three sacks for Iowa's defense here. Brasic sacked again. This time they came with linebacker pressure. Chad inside a tackle. Brasic third and long. Under pressure once again threw it behind his intended receiver. Would have been put down for Illinois. Weatherford's been a standout of sorts for the Illini today. Five punts now for Weatherford. He's a beautiful spiral in the air. Hinkle makes a fair catch signal. Hits on the one. Kept in play by the Illini. Streak for Iowa football. Manson in a quarterback now. Jason Manson, a junior from Blue on their first two drives. Damian Sims looking for running room. He was a record-setting quarterback in Connecticut. Manson over the middle. Juggled and dropped incomplete times where he made plays with his feet and kept drives alive and they drove the ball well today. Punt comes up short. Matter of fact, takes an Illinois hop. It is down by the Hawkeyes near the 40-yard line. 40 passing, 227 yards. Career highs and attempts and completions. Pass incomplete. Boy, he's been... Etiquette person. Not bad. I mean, he brought in people to show the kids where the... Uh, he said that he opened it up to his team in order to learn things about dating properly, you guys courtesy to women. But he said that he thought that it worked because he ran into a couple of players when he was at church with his daughter. In our conference call the other day, it's fourth down, by the way, Illinois going for it right here. Let's see if Brasic can get a first down. Play breaks down, Brasic makes, oh, and he, oh. been taught those things and there are a lot of people that play on Sunday that could learn the same thing you're exactly right Sam Brownlee gets another carry one of the Hawkeyes lost their hat and Wayne I think it is fair that we're held to a different standard it's a privilege to play this game to represent your team and represent the university so I have absolutely no problem and didn't have a problem with it as a player to be held at a, at a higher standard the Illini, the road trip continues for Illinois next week on many of these stations. ESPN Plus Big Ten Game of the Week. We'll have the Fighting Illini on the road at Indiana. Take a look at the upcoming schedule. Then Penn State and Wisconsin at home. Tough home stand there. Then Ohio State, Purdue on the road. Doesn't get any tougher than that. And Northwestern to finish up the season. Finally, fresh legs. Inside the 50 to about the 48-yard line of Illinois. Well, the Iowa Hawkeyes, and Kelly, you mentioned they'd like to get up on an 8-0 run if they could to finish it out. Won't be easy. They've got to go to Purdue. Purdue playing Notre Dame tonight. Then at home, a two-game homestand, Indiana, followed by Michigan on the road to Northwestern and Wisconsin, and they finish with Minnesota. Wisconsin to Minnesota, big-time rivalry game. So the final seconds melt off the clock. A solid win for the Iowa Hawkeyes over Ron Zook and the Fighting Illini of Illinois. Kirk Ferentz Club, a school record 21st consecutive home win. The final, Iowa 35, Illinois 7. We send it back to the studio, Mike Gleason and Coach Cooper.